The most basic way for human beings to collect information is through conversation. Maybe that's why podcasts have become so widely loved. But in recent times, we collect the greatest amount of information by reading written content. In our lives, all of us have at one time or another read a book or PDF and written down the main headings in the books and then highlighted the main topics and then slowly go deeper into each of the points in the book. And now there is a free AI tool that will not only parse all the information that you provided, but also create a podcast from the supplied material. And we can upload this podcast into YouTube or Spotify. So here we are in Google's Notebook LM. And as you can see, it is still in the experimental stage. The difference between Notebook LM and most other large language model is that Notebook LM only uses the sources that we provided to come up with its content. This can be highly valuable if we are researching a topic and we need highly curated source materials for our research project. Also, it can be used for classrooms where the textbooks and the reference materials are predetermined. And also for business, especially for making FAQ pages for websites, as well as creating training material and onboarding material for new coworkers. And from here, we can see there are many different type of sources that are accepted in notebook alone. We can use PDF, text documents, markdowns, and even audio files. From Google, we can add Google Docs and slides. Sheets are not yet available. As for links, we can add website links and YouTube links. And of course, we can just copy paste some material into Notebook LM. Here we can see that the source limit is currently 50. Please let me know if it is different for you. Now we don't have to start adding sources from here. We can close out of here and add source by this plus button as well. If we click it, we'll get back this window. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use some sources about a new app called Affine, which is also a note-taking app. I'm going to go to the website for Affine, go to the resources tab and the docs portion with the documentations for Affine, copy the link to this page and add it to Notebook LM as one of the sources. I'm going to click website and then paste the URL here and insert. I'm going to copy the URL of this into video. It is one of my videos and I'm going to add it as in source here. Scroll down, find YouTube and paste the URL by clicking Control V. Here we have to keep in mind two things. In case of websites, Notebook LM will only see the words that are present on the website itself. It will not draw any information from linked pages in that website. So if we go back to this link or this local for software link or this money editor app link, they will not be part of the information that Notebook LM can access. It will only access the information in this page. Currently, Notebook LM also cannot parse or access paid documents, paid PDFs or paid websites. Now, Notebook LM has mentioned that there are some reasons where imports can fail. We can find this by going to this YouTube option and clicking this Learn More option. This tells us that any uploaded file has to be up to 200 megabytes and 500,000 words. If the transcript of a YouTube video is more than 500,000 words, it might not be imported. Also, of course, the video has to be public and not private. And if the video is taken down, then the source will be auto deleted from Notebook within 30 days of the YouTube video being deleted or made private. Now, we do not have to use all the sources that are present for creating our notes. We can choose which sources are used for our note making. This can be very useful if we have lots of sources and we want to go through a few sources at a time, especially useful for learning more information for researchers and classrooms.
Now you can see I'm um, having some formatting issues here, but this can be remedied by clicking the F11 button on the keyboard, which brings me to the full screen mode. Now, as we add the sources, we can see there are two things that are generated spontaneously and few things that can be generated if we want. The two things that are generated spontaneously are this summary portion and this option to generate a deep dive conversation. If we click generate, this will create the podcast conversation out of the introduction that it has. Now, other than this summary and this podcast, we can make these things. If we read them, we can tell from the names that these can be very useful for businesses, for onboarding new coworkers, and for adding FAQ sections in our business websites. Also to generate study guides and table of contents. And this timeline feature I have found is very helpful for learning history, as well as the life cycle of a product or the process a business goes through while creating a project which can then be supplied to new workers for review and learning. Now to get rid of this window, we can click this notebook guide option and also click it to get it back. And to get these options that are present here, we just have to click them and to populate our notebook with notes that correlate to the buttons that we have clicked. Here they are. Now the responses that are generated by the notebook LM are not editable right now. But that's all right, because we can add our own notes by clicking this add note option. Here we can give it a new title and start writing. And in this portion, there is an option to add a link to the words that you type here. So I can highlight it and click this link button, get a website link, and then link it to this word. Paste it here and click save. And now this is a linked word. If we collapse it, you can see that this purple word is now a link. And we can see that in the dark mode, the links are not very visible. So we can go here and switch to the light mode. But this is not good for my eyes. So I'm just going to go back to the dark mode. Now, the next thing is that we can ask Notebook LM questions. If we are really unfamiliar with the topic, we can use these suggested question to start asking questions. So I'm going to click this question here and it has generated an answer. But here is the most wonderful thing about this answering process. The answers of Notebook LM come with these links. These links will show us exactly which part of which resource Notebook LM has used to answer this question. And we know this is extremely important for referencing or citations while writing research papers. Although Notebook LM is not as helpful to writing research papers as tools like Zotero, which are specifically made for academic paper writing, but I still think that Notebook LM can greatly help us in parsing and learning the information. And then we can use Zotero or other such tools to put all the information together. Now I'm going to close this and close out of here. Click F11 to go full screen mode. Now we can access all the questions that we have asked Notebook LM by clicking this view chat option. And here's the questions that we have asked with the answer. Now, if we scroll down, we can see the save as note option. If we click this, it will create a note in our notebook with this response. And if we look closer, we can see that there is this button called 10 citations. Clicking this will bring up the citations and if we click, you can see which part of which document it used to generate this answer. Now we can see the usefulness of Notebook LM when it comes to research, but I think it has great, also great potential when it comes to great classroom setting. See, if we click this share button, we get this option to add people. We can add an email to add people. We can add them as viewers or editors. Now viewers cannot add new notes. So if we want our students to write notes about the topics that we have given them, we have to add them as editors, not viewers. But if it is just a way to share information with our students or our co-workers, then the viewer option is fine. So I'm going to click editor option and clicking send will send an email to the participant. And here's the email. I'm going to click this untitled notebook option and this is going to bring me back to the notebook. I'm using a spare 
email address to access this notebook. So as you can see, this is the account with which I have created the notebook. And this is the new account with this butterfly. I can add a new node, but I would not be able to add a new node if I had only viewer access. We can remove the permission that we have given to different people by going to the share button again, going to this editor option and clicking revoke access. Now there's two problem with using this notebook LM for classroom purposes. We can see that the written notes and the responses from notebook LM have different yeah, it's only labels with them. So we can be sure if a response has been written by our students or has been generated by AI. But currently, I have been unable to find a way to identify who has written which note. So if we have students or co-workers that are onboarding, then they have to write their name before they add any comment on writing the note. Otherwise, there is no way to know who has written what. My wonder if Notebook LM will solve this problem soon. And all this has made me remember that I have not named my notebook. So I'm going to name this notebook just by clicking here. Click enter and we have a new name. So we have seen how Notebook LM, the spree tool, can help three different industries with learning and sharing information. One in the classroom, one in business for both making FAQ section in websites and also onboarding new co-workers and also for people who are learning and reading new research papers on different topics. And now, last but not least, we're going to see what the podcast created by Notebook Alum is like. So I'm clicking play button here. Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to dive into something awesome. Today, we're all about AFING. If you're into Notion, Miro, that kind of thing, this one's right up your alley. Yeah, what's really got my attention with a &E is how they handle data. Local first software, remember that whole movement? Oh, absolutely. That article was spot on. And there we go. That is a very lively conversation that Notebook Allen has created for us. And we can very easily turn this into a link and share it. Or we can click this three dots button and download it and upload it into platforms like Spotify. And in order to turn this into a video to upload into YouTube, what I do is first separate the two voices in the podcast into two different tracks. For this, we can use a free tool like Audacity, or we can use my favorite tool, which is my only video link to currently, Descript. And for creating avatars for each of the voices that are speaking in the generated podcast, I like to use this software called Hydra. In my opinion, currently, this has the best pressure animation of all the avatar creators and can turn any photo into a beautiful talking head animation. Uh, it can generate its own audio, but for our cases, of course, you can upload the audio. We can generate the avatars here or use one of our favorite AI image generators like Leonardo. Currently, I'm using OpenArt AI. Now, if we go to one of these nodes and click this checkbox here, we can see that on top of this input box where we can write our questions, we find these four options. These are extremely helpful for all content creators. This help me understand will explain all the terms that are present in the book, along with some explanations of what is happening in that particular node. Not the whole notebook, not all of the sources, just that particular note. And here it is. Here are the terms that are present in that particular note. And here are some explanations. The critic option can help us improve our writing. This specifically suggests ways to add more context and relevant information to the note that might be missing. This is basically the notebook and AI self-analyzing and trying to improve itself. Okay, this suggests related ideas, such as the topics that could become other avenues of exploration. And this create outline option directly creates an outline in our notes. And we can see that all these portions have this save to note option. If we click it, like before, will be added to this notebook. And here is the outline option that was directly inserted into the notebook. 
without us having to click the take to note option. So these things are obviously very useful for a content creator. This help me understand session plan help us provide our viewers with greater clarity, critics section can improve our writing quality, suggest related ideas can give us ideas about our next project. And this outline option can give us an idea about the topics that are part of the selected note. Notebook RM also parses the sources that I have provided individually. We can click one of the sources and we can see that the overview and outline of the sources are here with the main points. Also, it has imported the entire source along with all the URLs and links that were part of this document. And in the case of the YouTube video, it has brought the YouTube video as well as the transcript of the video. Now, the next thing is that if we click this button, we can click the select all option, then we can deselect all, delete all, or just add a note. Now I'm going to deselect all here. If you are a podcast creator, then of course, Notebook LM is a complete game changer for you. But it is also very useful for classrooms, businesses, for children and onboarding purposes, for researchers. I hope this has been helpful to you. For more on avenues of calm growth, both online and offline, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Have a good day. See you soon.